Hey everybody, Dynamite for Cross the Octopus here. Uh, I have up here the Adventures in Play Market uh, video of number one, the intro and in our first class. Um, this video went up in January <laughs> and there hasn't been an Adventures in Play Market number two uh, since then, and it's mid April. So, like, I, I kind of want to rectify that. Um, I really want to document this experience because this is a really big uh, uh, thing for me. So, real quick, uh, I have right here uh, the revised version of my play, Fallen Goldfish. It was mostly just uh, grammatical issues, spelling, all that type of stuff, because that's uh, per the usual with my plays. <laughs> um, also in here is the director's notes, Connie Whit Lambert, who is my professor, advisor, uh, teacher for this play market class, and now the director of my play, or director of the reading of my play. <clears throat> uh, put her notes in here because that's how her direction is going to be shown, or rather uh, expressed, because it is a stage reading, so there you go. Yeah, that's all in here now. A uh, few uh, changes here and there with lines, a uh, bit of addition with lines too, but yeah, this is uh, the most complete version right now. Um, and I'm very excited about it. Like I said, this play's been with me for a long time, and uh, to see it kind of take a full form is great. It's awesome. So it's Wednesday right now, um, or Wednesday night. We are going to have auditions for the reading on Monday, and I'll do a video on that too, and that's when I'll get into a little more of the story, and, and uh, I'll, I'll be focusing on explaining the characters in that one too. So I just wanted to make this video as just somewhat of an update before I do that video. Um, actually, I'll tell you a fun fact uh, how I got this title, Fallen Goldfish. So a long time ago, um, right after senior year, I think it was that summer, or the following fall, I don't know. My sister and I were doing an exercise um, for writer's block, and this is just a writer's exercise we got from another writer. In order to get like a new idea for a play, you take the title of an already existing play and try to find the opposite of it. And so I tried it too, and uh, I, I picked To Kill a Mockingbird, because that one was in my mind. Um, still kind of is <laughs> forever. And I found the opposite to be To Revive a Goldfish. And, and that got me thinking, it was like, why would you need to revive a goldfish? And then I just got to thinking, well, the goldfish has to be dead, maybe there's a funeral for it. And then I cut out the revive part and just said, okay, these people are wanting to have a funeral for a goldfish, but why? And, and who are they? And so that turned into Fallen Goldfish, where Viking-like warriors hold a funeral for a goldfish. I just did this video so I could keep on uh, documenting this experience as much as possible. And also, I just want to upload a video because I like uploading videos. Anyway, thank you for watching, and the adventure continues. See you next time.